and good morning. So we're starting our hike on the Franklin Trail in Carpinteria among the avocado groves. Going to be doing a 10 mile hike to get two first defines that published this morning. And then if we're so inclined, we might put on an additional three miles to get three lonely caches and a first to find that's been out there since 2017. So come join me. Got about four tenths of a mile and we've picked up our first geocache. So let's continue to move on. And here we are, we're a mile in and we get to this nice little sign. And one of the cool things uh, is that they provide bells for bicyclists to borrow. Here at 1.9 miles into the hike, uh, we get to Frank's bench who surfed the wave of life. And I think that's what we're doing too. So let's continue on and look at the bench. Everybody's welcome to sit at Frank's bench and enjoy the view. I just checked and there is not a geocache near Frank's bench, but tomorrow there will be. I got another beautiful bench and got another beautiful view. Can't set a geocache right here because it's too near another, but doesn't mean we can't use this bench as a virtual waypoint for a multi. So let's do that. So here we are at the 3.4 mile trail sign and that's a good place for a final for the multi. So awesome. Looks like we're gonna have a little downhill. So we can see that uh, there's four geocaches really close to each other here. Uh, two of them are FDFs, but they translate to climbing up there, going down there, and then climbing up there. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna do that, but then we're gonna have to make a decision. So let's go and find out what we're gonna do. All right, we're right at four miles. It looks pretty straightforward. Let's see if it is. And let's see if it's a first to find. Very quick and easy and First to find, woohoo. One FTF down, uh, let's go see if we can get the other. All right, just off the trail mountainside, uh, I think I see some place that could be used, so let's go check it out. First to find. All right, we're at the last of the ones that we knew we were going to do and uh, that we found it to be second to find. And now we're going to sit down and make an informed decision. Okay, so here's the situation. Um, it's 1.8 miles to that first to find that's been out there since before the Thomas fire. And I don't have specific permission from the owner to replace it if it's gone. 1.8 miles out there, probably two and a half. But we also see that there's a geocache down about a mile from here. So you know what? Let's go look at that one and then make a decision. See you there. Well, I was fortunate just as I was about to follow that road. I ran into a woman who told me that this is the trail 
that I want. So heading up this trail. Whew, that was close. So as we stop and just look back at the view of the ocean, give you a little trivia down here. See that? Foxes poop on rocks if they have a chance. And that one had a chance. All right. Well, three tenths of a mile. Let's continue up. So when I made the decision to continue on, it was somewhere down there. But now I've been climbing and this single track, well, it's pretty darn steep. Definitely uphill. So we're gonna get this last one, but I think that's probably gonna be the last one. Um, so see you up there. All right, beautiful view up here. We did get that uh, last one. And we're only 0.9 miles from uh, the first find that hasn't been found in five years. But in all honesty, I just don't have it in me to make it that far. So at this point, I'm going to be happy with, I believe we have uh, nine caches found. I'm going to set, I have set two, and I will set at least one more on the way down. So at this point, I think I'm just going to tell you, thanks for joining me.